Hello guys, welcome back to my channel and today I am doing a video on, again, Minecraft Education Edition. Now you might have noticed I'm doing videos on this mostly, the reason being that there's just so much stuff in here and I really want to get it done. Um, and just the possibilities are really endless, but today I'm going to be going over this agent. Now, they are called whatever your gamer tag is plus agent, and they can be programmed to do all sorts of things. It's just amazing. The possibilities are endless. As long as you know how to do it, you can do anything. Now, so first of all, they look like this. Now, when you open them, they can carry stuff inside. Now, this is important to know this because you can use it to build things. They can't just build things out of thin air. They need to have something inside them, first of all. Right, I've turned the day daylight on. Okay, so basically, to program this guy to do something, you need to go and press this thing in the corner next to the pause and text button there's this agent button press it and here we have the code builder now let me go home okay so this is what it will look like at first this is what it looks like guys um it will make you it will ask you if you want to make go into python or code builder now it doesn't really matter which one you do if you want to do um Python, then sure, but I would start with this first. Now, it for, basically, it has lots of tutorials with, like, step-by-step -step how to do these so you understand how it works. It has live coding lessons, which last time I was on didn't exist, okay? That's interesting. You've got different things, mobs and things. These are also not just the agent, but also different things. So let me go into my latest design, which is testing. It's random. Now... I've, as you can see, oh, it can do JavaScript. This is what it looks in JavaScript. And you can also do it in Python. Now, I haven't actually tried doing Python yet because I still haven't mastered the blocks. But basically speaking, you have your, if you've ever played Scratch, done Scratch, it's like a system, it's online and on computers you basically take these blocks and place them together to make something happen. So I have, here I have a program. Ooh. Oh gosh, hang on, what happened? Okay, I have a program here that basically what it does is it makes the guy move forward and build walls. This program here. Oh. You can't see it very clearly. Basically, you've got basic commands here. Basic commands. You've got player commands. So things like um, when the player jumps, it does something. You've got blocks. You've got mobs. You've got the agent. You've got gameplay. You've got positions, loops, logic, variables, maths. Um, um, let's see. Hang on. What else is there? Functions arrays which are basically lists text builder builder is really cool shapes and extensions now i don't actually know how extensions works because i've never tried it but i have tried everything else and if you want more in depth on how this works i will be doing a several tutorials on different things like how to build walls and stuff okay so let me just do the wall now basically what you need to do for the wall is you the way this works is I put up a wall. Now, one important thing to know, note when you're making this agent, is that the agent, no matter if I face, see the way the agent is facing right now, yeah? Well, if I come over here and face the opposite way and then type come, because this is a command, he will still be facing that way. Doesn't matter. You have to check which way he's facing because he will not turn around and go north he will just keep going forward so you need to turn him around first now I'm just gonna go over here and do it let me just come okay now I'm gonna go wall okay that's the command slot number one and I'm gonna go 30 blocks go oh gosh what happened oh right hang on hang on hang on uh stop 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 
<sighs> I'm dumb. Okay, you know what I did wrong there? I stood away. You have to stand where you want it to start. So I'm going to go one moment. Oops. Hey. Okay. Slash. Uh, so just wall one and 30. Now I'm going to go. This will... He should go up and up and up and basically keep spawning glass. Um, this works when the terrain is also uneven, although sometimes they can get stuck. So I recommend you check and help the dude. Oh, God. Right, yeah. So you might need to break some extra. Yeah. But generally speaking, it's a good way to make a good wall. So if I, for instance, show you here. Let me... There, okay. And we go forward to, like, there here and then I go stand here and I go wall one and a hundred it should yep it will keep going and as you can see the ground is uneven but I have programmed it in a way that makes it go up and down depending and it will also look as you can see it goes down and places blocks so this is fantastic uh, I will be doing a tutorial as I said on this this is one of my own inventions there are lots of other tutorials as well on different things like how to build cylinders and things those ones are simpler but this one is really the best oh god okay I've got to stop it now Voila. so that is how the agent works guys it is fairly simple to understand but in theory, when you're actually programming to do this, it took me a long time. I tested about 15 times and then I had to just, I had to do a couple days of work to figure out how I would program it to go up and down and fill in gaps. Very difficult stuff, but it is really, really fun in the long run. Um, I still have to work on it being even because as you can see one of it's lower than the rest but that's because the ground here was also lower than the rest so yes I need to work on that but other than that guys although I guess if you did it high enough it would eventually even out anyway but still it still needs working I am going to perfect this and then I will be doing a video on that I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did check out more of the videos on this Minecraft Education Edition, on how these tables work, on generally what these things are, and I will see you guys next time. Until then, bye!